I remember the day this was taken. As a working mother of two daughters, Jenny Samus knows how to juggle family and professional demands. But there is one area she and her husband struggle with. What to do with the leftover embryos after going through in vitro fertilization. When I'm looking at the paperwork and thinking about what to do, I think about people and the potential for people. And that they're my living daughters who I love very much. Samus isn't alone. Tens of thousands of frozen embryos are in limbo because couples can't decide what to do with them, whether to donate them or have them destroyed. Others have abandoned them and quit paying storage fees, which can run hundreds of dollars a year. There is no exact count because U.S. fertility clinics aren't required to report the number of embryos. Health psychologist Andrea Braverman says even if couples decide in advance what to do, a successful IVF can change perspectives. It's not hard to imagine that feelings can change when you have this hypothetical embryo, one of them turned into a, your very real child, and that that may generate other thoughts and feelings about those other remaining embryos. Storage tank failures at clinics in Cleveland and San Francisco last year exposed hidden issues with long-stored embryos. Clinics in recent years developed specific consent forms for what they can do with abandoned embryos, but that doesn't address the embryos made a long time ago. Many clinics have not destroyed embryos for fear they'll be sued. She has no children. She's in Georgia. Dr. Craig Sweet, who heads a fertility clinic in Florida, says frozen embryos can remain viable for a long time. These embryos are really frozen solid, and so they're not aging that they probably will live for centuries. Sweet says 18 percent or 302 of his clinic's frozen embryos are abandoned, some for 25 years. He founded an international donation program for people who want to use leftover embryos that patients have agreed to donate. We try to motivate people to do something good with them when they have been ignoring them for all these years. For Rebecca Ruano, who works with Sweet and went through IVF, seeing the dilemma up close led to her decision to donate. Just knowing what goes into all of this, uh, time, money, effort, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have it any other way. But for others, the choices can be paralyzing. Samus continues to pay storage fees. Her older daughter is now 14. I'm not going to have any more children. The possibility of needing them just in case it doesn't apply to me any longer. But the passing of time hasn't made her decision any easier. Kathy Young, Associated Press.